Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing great today. Got another game feature in Fala Bala, and as you can see, he's in his OI. He's on the Safe Haven map, and this is a tier four through six match, and uh, he's top tier. It's just awesome. They don't get no better than this. And uh, he's going to take this thing out. His team's going to spawn up over on the um, the west side of the map, and he's going to head to the to the little warehouse district area, and he's going to do what a t what a uh, what an OI does, and that's just wreck souls, and it's just awesome. So it's Friday, everybody. I hope that y'all have a great day and a great follow-on weekend. Um, without further ado, let's get to the game. Thanks for watching. Go far. So Fall's going to spawn over on the... Um, west side of this map and uh he's going to pretty much head straight ahead to where that uh gantry crane is and uh he's going to get behind those uh those shipping containers and it just so happens that this oi is just tall enough where he can see over see over and shoot over the top of these of these shipping containers and it's just beautiful and uh, while the enemy can see him and hit him he, you know his he's hold down and dude he's oh is tough 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 to crack um, hold down especially if you're bottom tier i mean it's even hard to hit um you, you get it top tier and the thing could be difficult to hit you know you could be in a su-130 pm trying to shoot it straight you know straight ahead or just as turret man this is this this is tough you know and i didn't know this you know so fa is going to take complete you know complete advantage of this tank's ability to uh well you're about to see you know it's gonna take him all day to get over there but he will get there eventually there's the SU-85. He's running and scraping up his tank, messing up his paint job. Speaking of paint job, follow your tank is naked. <laughs> I was gonna say you need to get some camo on that thing, man. But they don't need no camo. The thing's the thing is as big as an apartment complex. It's not like it, it, you can hide that thing. So, no, well, he's gonna hide it behind this, this shipping container right here and just wreck these dudes. And when I saw this right here, this T-34 shielded coming down right out exposed in the middle, I just. Oof. <laughs> I just laughed out loud. I thought that was so funny. Um, it, it just cracked me up. The dude's just cruising. It's lower tier shenanigans, man. This guy's just playing their tanks, trying to have some fun. And, it, you know, it, it's KV-1. It bounces off Faw's turret. And Faw, he's backing up. He's reloaded now. This is dude. The scene of this dude is really going to pull back out in front of his gun. Appears that he's going to. Ooh, it took. <laughs> he hits him for 400 for 550, man. He shaves off more than his hat, more than half of his hit points. Uh, shoot, almost three quarters of his hit points, man. Whew. Talk about getting smacked in the side. He got them cheeks clapped. There, you, okay. So he's reloaded again. He's aiming, 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 and he's gonna pull out. Sure enough, and he takes him out. So the KV2 is his second kill. And all these tanks just want to seem to stand in front of his gun. And the Matilda down there is getting worked over, and he's not happy about it. And uh, comes the M4. He's rolling pretty fast, and the Faw is going to auto aim on him. Well, no, he doesn't. He did for a second. He's going to hit him. He, he ricochets off him. Man, what a lucky shot, dude. That dude is so lucky that Faw didn't pin. He should have, but he doesn't. And there's a. Churchill Forest pulled out. He's getting worked over by the by the by the uh, TDs on the south on the hill up there. The fall is gonna sit and linger here for a little while, seeing if the Churchills are gonna uh, pull back out. Um, see if you can get some cheeky shots on them. Now, if you look if you look uh, look north, the Hetzers Hetzers up north, you know, guarding that that uh, that building with the with the water in the center of it. And he just died. So there's a Skoda T25 over there. I also think that there is a uh, a Wolverine hiding back there. Then there's a cruiser. And that little cruiser tank, man, that little British light tank, I'll tell you, I think he's got a pretty good gun. It's with a pretty decent rate of fire, and it just, it'll just ping you to death. Um, the Panzer 3J is headed over there. Um, KV-1 is headed over there. And uh, that Skoda T25, man, with that with that auto reloader, is is a pretty formidable tank. Um, don't ever underestimate that thing. Here goes the cruiser for um, 
that dude's doing a great job. He's, he's uh, so the church of four just, just took out the SU. I'm 85. So now we're down. His team is down another TD. Just, they're, they're losing by one. Um, the Matilda's, like I said, the Matilda wasn't happy about getting killed by the Churchills and nobody coming to help him. So he's, he's pretty much giving his team the business. And, uh, Paul's going to try to, basically going to track the dude. Um, RNG said, nope. And, uh, he's going to, he's finished his repair. Let's see if he's going to, um, Fall's going to finish his reload here in just a second. And the reload's complete. Hit him one more time. Tracks him again. Dude is so lucky, man. He's basically getting tracked. Two tracks in a row from an OI. Of course, that's where Faw is aiming. He's aiming in his tracks. Comes a T-3485M. He's getting worked over. He's running for cover. And Faw's going He's not going to track him on that shot. He's actually going to take him out. There's the T-3485M. He's about to come into play. He, he bounces bounces a shot from the T-3485M, which is beautiful. Um, Faw decides, you know what? He's not going to go and get into the tunnel shenanigans. So, I mean, seriously, man, that T-3485M can come in there and get beside him and, and just wreck his day. He doesn't have any support. And uh, so basically the whole north side of this map is just folded. Um, it's it's tied up, and he's really the only only tank over here that can uh, hem these guys up or slow down their advance. The cruiser is going to go rolling right past him. Is going to be over on his left, as you can see right there. And uh, Faw's got the T3485M that's going to be coming up behind him. Is going to start dumping shells into his rear end. He just smashed the Churchill four in the face for 145. Got hit. Got hit. You know, took a hit. Bounced a, bounced a shot for 140 from the Churchill, and there's the T-34M, just like I said. T-T-34-85M. And the dude is just working, working uh, Faw over. But there's not really a whole lot that Faw can do. I mean, he had to turn the corner and be in those guys' line of fire. He blocks another shot. That Churchill 3, man, is going to have a cracking good game as far as block damages goes. Um, and this is the part that cracked me up. Is like, why does T-34-85M decided it was, he was going to roll and pass Faw? I don't know. He gets set on fire, and that's he's going back to the garage. And there's the the Wolverine. This team is up by two. The Fall Man has been holding his side over here like a boss. You see what I mean about this cruiser, man? The cruiser is hitting him, but it's just bouncing shots. I so said, you're going to have to load gold, buddy, if you're going to pin this thing. At least, you know. Consistent, consistently. Well, the mark, the um, the light tank is dead. So here's the scorpion. It's down to basically two light tanks, and uh, the enemy team only has two light tanks and a medium, which is gonna should be the the Wolverine, and then uh, there's the Skoda, and then I, I can't remember what the last remaining tank was. Is the SU? It's a non, I think it's like the non turreted Russian T, you know, TD. And uh, that's pretty much going to be it. I did not think it was going to end this way. I mean, that's. Um, talk about chips being down, man. He never gave up. That's a beautiful thing. That's hard not to do when all your teammates are dying around you. That's the game, dude. What an outstanding game. Let's see what he did here in post game stats. Um,. When it loads up, it's oh, let's see. You got first class mastery badge, bruiser, duelist, uh, fighter for four kills, fire for effect, shell proof, steel wall, and high caliber. High caliber. You did 2,624 uh, damage. You had uh, 269 assist damage for a combined 2893. You blocked 2,190 damage. Um, two kills in two spots. You, uh, you killed the T-34 um, shielded, the KV-1, the Churchill-3, and then the Wolverine at the very end. And you made uh, like 15,000 credits. So you didn't lose any credits, man. So it was, it was an outstanding game. You played the, the OI to its strengths, and that's you know being holed down, um, using its armor properly. Um, had some really crappy rolls as far as RNG is concerned with some of these, with the, um, 
the Church Hill. He shoot, he probably has over two thousand block damage himself. You know, um, from all the shots that he bounced. So good on him. You know. So anyway, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed it. And I looked. Yeah, by the way, as far as funny names, I looked at all the names. And it's like no, there was none of them that really like cracked me up, made me laugh. So there won't be one of those during this game, unfortunately. Um, thank you so much, y'all, for coming back to the channel and hanging out with me. Um, like I said, it's Friday. Um, you know, it's the end of the work week, which is awesome. So I hope this day is uh, is awesome for you, and it, and it goes by fast. And uh, you know, I hope that y'all have a great weekend. Um, thank you so much. Uh, if the game wasn't complete garbage due to me, please consider leaving a thumbs up and a comment. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Um, it really helps me out. Hit the notification bell. You know what that does. And if you got a game you're proud of and you'd like to have it featured, please don't hesitate to send it to me. And uh, we'll get it loaded up, or you know, and it'll be awesome. So leave me a comment or leave send me a video. Anyway, y'all, until next, until Monday, y'all take care and have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. Bye.